Welcome back. On my last video, I installed a Bluetooth streaming device which needed a USB power. Uh, the power that I'm using was from the cigarette lighter with a USB adapter, and the cable was running outside outside the glove box, uh, and it was kind of uh, fiddly and aesthetically wasn't pleasing. So I bought one of these. It's a 12 volt DC to 5 volt DC free amp max and gives you two USB outputs. There's the USB ports, $5.99 each. Rather expensive for what it is, I think. It comes with two cables on this end, positive and negative. You gotta attach the positive to the positive side, negative to the negative side. And to do that, I'm gonna use piggyback for the fuse, rather than create a new circuit that might be problematic or I might even mess it up use one of these so you take if you take the fuse out from the existing port and put it into the bottom slot I already got one for the top slot which is this circuit uh, the bottom slot goes from there, there to there the top one goes from there to there so I'm using a 3 amp fuse because this max 3 amp that's all that's all I need and uh, you connect the positive from this onto the positive here and that goes onto a negative pole somewhere in the car you could even uh, attach it to an existing negative using um, inline feeds but uh, what I'm using is one of these uh, attach this to this and connect it to a terminal on the car that is already connected to the car body which is negative the whole chassis is actually negative on cars so and that should give me power for the two USB ports and I, I put it in the glove box so that cable that's running outside the glove box onto the center console is no longer there it'll be inside the glove box connected to this these are very handy and uh, yeah I've been using them all the time. I've got to put my uh, dash cam in. I'm going to be using one of these as well. So on the car there's two uh, fuse slots which aren't being used for anything. But they are switch live. Uh, switch live is good because when I switch the engine off, the there'll be no power to it and you won't be draining your battery. While permanent live is always live. And doesn't matter if you switch it off, switch the car off or not, it'll be getting power. That might be handy with some dash cams who, who stop recording after a while. Well, to connect this, I'm going to use these. And uh, I've already got these wires cut previously. So positive. Just crimp that up. This is an extension. So I put, crimp it up and if you see the hole inside, just push it in. Make sure it's in all the way and squeeze. Make sure you squeeze it tight. It's a flat connection and the cable doesn't come out. So the same with this side. Doesn't really matter which way you connect it, as long as you know which is which. So negative. Should have connected red to positive. Squeeze. Make a secure connection. So negative again. This is the pull. Push it in. And squeeze. If you had bigger pliers, it, it won't take that much effort. Uh, this needs a bit of cutting there you go so put that on there make sure it goes in through the hole and squeeze there you go secure connection that's my extension so I'm going to put this in the glove box 
uh, feed the wire around the car uh, to to wherever, uh, wherever the fuse box is and on that end this goes to the negative terminal and this goes to the fuse live switch live so on this 20 and 21 they're switched live so I'm going to connect this to there if I was for example tapping off this one I'd take this fuse off and put it on the bottom slot that way that still circuit gets power for the ground I know this is ground because it's connected to metal bare metal on the other side and this is ground push this in like this and tighten it that's tight and we're going to test the connection so with this there's my bluetooth streaming device here's the usb cable connected it to this at the moment it's getting no power as you can see no blue light on but once i switch the engine on blue light on and external audio source is active there you go that's how you connect usb sockets so what I'm going to do with this is put it inside there. I've got more wires there. That's for the dash cam I need to fit. Just put it inside there neatly and uh, that'll give me power. Let's see if this switches off. And I'll turn it off. No power. There you go.